They're completely psychotic. Like a zombie. Zombies. Whatever someone asks you to do, you'll do. Naked and out of their mind. Scopolamine. 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 Don't be the next one. You may have heard the story of Hamelon's pipe. No. Today I will not told the Piper story. But this story can easily become true with you. It requires a pinch of scopolamine. What is scopolamine? Why is it called devil's breath? Let's discuss about the most dangerous drugs in the world. Suppose you are walking down the street. A man comes, shows a piece of paper and asks for an address. Soon you are under his control. He left with everything you had before you realized. Don't understand what happened. Let's find out. The scopolamine is made through a chemical process from the flower seeds of Boricero tree. It also known as hyacine or devil's breath is a natural or synthetically produced tropane alkaloid and anticholinergic drug that is used as a medication to treat motion sickness and post-operative nausea and vomit. It is also sometimes used before surgery to decrease saliva. Dough made for treatment, but now serial killers are using it to destroy your and my life. Suppose you sit on the side of the road upset. A stranger comes and shares the sorrow. You became his friend. Problem creates when you handshake while leaving. Shortly after the handshake, you can't remember anything else. You have been exposed to scopolamine. You become his puppet. Originally, powder scopolamine is called devil's breath. If it enters your nose, it will first weaken your body and later destroy your memory. Scopolamine brainwashes you so that you can't think of a criminal, even if you want to. Where does scopolamine come from? Devil's Breath is a dangerous drug that originated in Colombia. In 1880, the first German scientist, Albert Leidenberg, began research on the use of truth serum, that is, in the search for truth. In 1922, it was applied to prisoners. That much was right, but the problem came to a serial killer named Yadrian Arvise first brought it to the crime world. She is known as the Queen of Scopolamine and La Borundana. Although she was sentenced to 100 years in prison for her crime, this serial killer put the whole world in fear. Criminals get a new weapon. Although there is no direct way to escape from these turbo drugs, several precautions can save you. Refrain from shaking hands with strangers. Using Max can protect you from its damage. Above all, your vigilance can save you from these drugs. The number of victims of scopolamine is increasing day by day. So, everyone is careful with time. Cannot be said, the next victim may be.